Still spectacular, still amazing. <laughs> That's the intro. We know now that that druid is gonna go in with this uh, Luna Tome, but I think he only does it if he can kill. Yeah, I agree with that assessment, surprisingly. So, I think... What if we... Huh. Do we do we just send Fiora in then? I mean, if we, if we put her here, then we can put Fiora in our support range and promote. I, think, I mean, she takes zero damage. I think this is fine. It's fine. Yeah, let's use the Javelin. I can confirm that this is fine. Wait, 18? Wait, if we use the 18 times 2, is that 34? 36, even. Yeah, it is. So even if he goes on a forest, you still kill. Yeah. Probably miss, but like in theory, it's a kill. So what we can do right now, we have like the safe zone right here. We can place Fire now right here and promote. Yep. So hopefully Fiora, with her massive hit point pool and luck, should not get crit by the Lunar Druids and should be able to retaliate on them all. Though knowing the Druid, he'll probably just eclipse Fire or something. Which is perfect, this does no damage. Yeah, yeah, but it's like, I would prefer if Fiora, like, retaliated and killed him, that would be nice. Anyway, yeah, but then she'd be low on health, so... That's a good point. Okay, so... Can we get the... Can we kill the bishop on this turn with a dance? No, mm, I don't think so. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, we could have used to do dinner with Luis, but oh well. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to barrier up both of these guys. I think we can just probably heroes. just send... Uh, we can probably send heroes in, don't you think so? with like hand axes and like bait the perch but not the bolting with Hector. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, not the bolting. We, we don't want the bolting guy to get involved. It's this oh. guy, I think. Where is he? Where is he? Who are you looking for? There, bolting. Sage? Yeah. Yeah, so we want to be careful not to place them in range of the bolting. Well, it's too far away. So like, you don't want Hector anywhere near that area anyway. So it's whatever. Oh, he, he has surprising range, actually. I mean, as you can see right here. What happens when you give moving enemies 3 to 10 range weapons? Yep. I want to keep Hand within range of Luis. There we go. And we'll barrier up Harkin and place him so they can't, like, one range Luis. There goes my barrier staff. Rip. You did well, yeah, barrier staff. I think you staff. might have been a little too liberal with the barriers, but whatever. I have another one. Let's see. Hand Full one? Yeah. Almost. Oh, okay. Who has it then? I Merlinus. <laughs> Do this. Well, you could, be... could have gotten it out this turn with like your four. Yeah, I could. I could. But I didn't. Right. <laughs> that brigand is going for the village. Who knows? You think so? Yeah. What if he's just going to get coffee? You don't know that. <laughs> that's, that's don't all, judge him. That's all the brigands want. They just want just, coffee. <laughs> just want to get coffee. Which might be in the village. You don't know that. Yeah, I think. Well, good placement of Jafar. I'm not sure if Fire Emblem has coffee. They never really. I mean. I know that uh, Fates Universe is coffee, because I know Dwyer makes a lot of coffee, but... Uh, it's stupid. I don't know, I mean, they probably have coffee beans. Coffee's been around for a uh, long time, dude. that everyone's gonna get uh, an attack in from the forest. Yeah, it's not great, but Fiora's accuracy is so good, I don't think it matters. I think it's really annoying for the Valkyrie. Everyone else it's like, doesn't Ow. matter. Uh, okay. Oh, wow, she crit! Get wrecked through I it. don't think the Valkyries does much to her. He does zero. Yeah. Oh, right. Like, That's annoying. Yeah, but I got a restore stuff, so it's okay. Yep, there we go. Nice! Good job, Fiora. This person is low on health. I could probably kill him. Probably. Okay, so we'll keep Famous Luis... Last words. Uh, so we'll keep Luis here to deal with the mages. Uh, I think I want to kill the bishop with Jafar. I can also... Okay, so I need to think about what to do right here. I think... I... Hmm. What a, actually, he has a perch, so it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, anyone can kill this guy. I don't need to do it with like... But I think Jafar is gonna go... No, this isn't a Valkyrie, this is just a Troubadour. It's not a great spot for Jafar, because the monks are there. And he's like the only person who doesn't kill them on enemy phase. I guess Jafar can just bring down I'd this... give Jafar like an easy, like the monk kill or something. Yeah, this guy. No, the other one. This guy? Yeah, that one. Right. And then... I don't want Jafar to be in enemy range. Which is kind of strange, but... <laughs> he doesn't counter I like that. True, true. Okay, so what we can do? Okay, so we need to wake up Harkin, I think. Duh. So I think we'll play. So we, we need to think about what we'll do with the Pegasus sisters. Obviously, I think a physics on Fiora is warranted. Or is it actually? 
You don't have, depending on where she goes, she doesn't have to be healed this turn. No, but it might be smart to do it all, anyway. I should probably kill this guy. I can do the Brave Lance tactic. Brave Lance, yeah. I think that's probably sure. a good idea, because we, we want to get... Oh, nice, crit. And then, I think there's no Does more... Does Shaman have Luna? Mm, yes. So what we can do is we can take him down and trade over the Javelin. Uh, honestly, I just prefer just to chill and not attack him. I want to get rid of him. But, like, I take damage from him because for no reason. Whereas on enemy phase, he was like... He was going to suicide on enemy phase anyway. Maybe, maybe. We ha Okay, so uh, both of these guys are, are on low health, but as long as we heal them up, I think we should be fine. So I think we'll dance yeah, but, like, We'll dance for fun this turn. You only need to do one. What? You're mumbling a bit, my god. You had attacked, yeah. If you had not attacked, you would only have had to heal one of them, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so I want to kill the bishop on this turn, so I think what I'll do is I'll move Luis up. Just I want to keep Luis here first. Yeah, but I can dance for her. I think he says on the library. Okay, okay. Or I can just do the easy thing and I can just do this. Yep. Boom, boom. And then we need to... I think we'll, yeah, we'll place Pent here and we'll... F oh, right. Priscilla has the uh, physics staff. We'll heal up uh, Fiora because she's lowest. Which will make everyone go for Farina. Yeah, but I'm gonna heal up Farina as well. I have I have enough uses to heal them both, and I should heal them both while they're still us getting good, actually. Yeah, she's actually. I mean, considering she leveled up so trashily, but she's just got the sheer amount of level she's gotten. It's just she is one of the few units on my team that we waited until level twenty to promote. You know. Mm -hmm. Oh, Hector also needs healing. Not if you like, take one of range. It's uh, only the bolting guy will be able to attack him, and that's if he stays where he is. That is a good point. All right, we'll... Just don't put him near the mages. Yeah. And it's all good. Okay, so we'll do this. Uh... This needs to be healed at some point, but not right now. Okay, we'll do this. Kill this guy. Yeah, he's I'm actually... I'll kill the troubadour. Uh, all right, the monk would just suicide, wouldn't he? Skill defense resistance. Yes. Oh, nice! Resistance! Monks do best. Resistance. Yay. Okay, so... Free pure water. Yeah, so now I just need to keep Hector out of range. I think this is a safe spot for him. We got the Bolting Sage. I don't know, man. The Troubadour might have a weapon. Oh, shit. Look at that. This I think he has that AI where we try to attack and then he realizes, oh, I can't actually attack. Yeah. All right. There we go. So Luis deals with all the mages. That's all good. Uh-oh. Hero. Hero. Hero! Wow. He doubles. doubles. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy G -G -G. shit. Glad I healed her. Right, so I, I don't think there's anything else that poses a threat to her at all, though. No damage. Nice. No. It's just because it's Javelin that she got double, I think. Yeah. She should have, like, rough play equal speed. I don't think she can, like, do well against him, even if not with an Iron Lance, but... Yeah, I think, I think I'll just run away from them, to be fair. I might Berserk him next turn. <laughs> I like Berserking them, actually. It's a funny strat. Pent has it, right? Yeah. He should be able to uh, hit. Yeah, from that distance, for sure. Well, maybe not. Like, Satastas and FP7 are kind of trash when used by the player. Yeah. Not that they're, like, worse stat-wise or anything, but just you never really find a good use for them. True, 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 true. Choo-choo. Nice one. Farina's cleaning house. Remember that if your, your, your units are low, then the Berserk enemy will still go for them. Yeah, yeah, I should. that means I should get out of their range. I think I might Berserk Hopefully them. Hopefully they can kill the, the, each other, the, the heroes. That, would, that be, would be funny. That would be kind of funny. I think this is actually what the 0% run did, or like one of the 0% runs did. Ooh. No, that's fine. Very your MVP. I know. Oh, oh, oh. I told you this would happen. I predicted this. Like, battle preparations, I said this would happen. <laughs> it's okay, though. Is anyone surprised that you dodged? I am not surprised. I am. Not. Okay, so uh, let's see what our chance to berserk this guy is without getting without putting like pent in his range. Let's see. Uh... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. It's time Pretty to, good chances. Time to turn animations on. All right. All right. I'll do it. <laughs> berserk animations don't show uh, animations anyway. I know. It's just I wanted to see right. pent use the berserk stuff. So what's funny now is that this guy will actually go for his friend. I might kill that guy actually. Uh -huh. So, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, first things first, we got a physics up uh, far enough. Yep. And then I think it's just, we should probably just go shop, so Pent can get some tomes. 
So mm -hmm. we'll just do this as long as we're like out of range now. I don't think there's anything we can do to avoid the staff range. Nope. So we're just gonna. Not have anymore. To, so we're just gonna <laughs> have to eat it. But honestly, I think Fiora and Farina will be fine because it's so far away. Keep in mind that staff accuracy goes down with range. It does go down with. Not by a whole lot. I mean, if he's six, it doesn't go down by a whole lot. I forgot what the formula is. I think it's seven. like minus two percent per tile or something like that. So it, it's it's very low, but it helps. Like every every little thing helps, right? Yeah, when, if it, when it's that big of a distance, it makes a difference. Yeah, especially because these guys like, they also like have because really these guys got like yeah. Nima magic. Like, <laughs> look at these guys. Look at these. They're guys. basically Nima. Yeah. They are basically. They are basically Nima. Bit more HP. All right, so we got to stay stay out of this guy's range. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Oh, the formula for our staff accuracy is actually pretty simple. Oh, right. Really? Uh, and distance has nothing to do with it. Really? Apparently. You sure? It's uh, 30. So I, oh, never mind. Staff avoid gives... Uh, yeah. Oh, never mind. I, I misread the formula. Oh, okay. So it's 30 plus magic times 5. So magic is pretty important, plus skill for them. Uh -huh. So I think they have about 20 magic. So that's about uh, 130, 150 bit base 140 base um, hits and then your avoid is like resistance times five plus distance from enemy times two so you're right it's every tile gives two percent avoid right and every bit of resistance gives uh, five percent avoid so barrier is a huge deal right right so uh what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna trade a hand no i gave him a what i gave him a steel lance are you fucking kidding me I just well, know I, I just noticed that um i just noticed that uh mm. raven's really low on hand axes so yeah, I need, to, <laughs> I need to heal up Hector. But hey, there might still be hope. I might have a hand axe in my uh, convoy. Let's see. You know, I won't be able to... No, wait, I can... No, I can take out and trade. You can, you, you can take and emerge, yeah. yeah. Or uh, emerge, yeah. Cause well, I, 10 uses. Cause, yeah, but it's better than nothing. I don't need the Lance Reaver, I think. No, I do not. I can't think... I can only think of, like, a couple enemies with Lances in this chapter, and they are not on the map yet, so whatever. Yeah, so I don't I don't want to pull the hero. Uh, do, 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 do. I wonder if the enemies will attack the Berserk hero. Ah, uh, I don't... Kill the Troubadour man, no. otherwise the hero might go for him later. Yeah, I will. I will kill him. Uh-oh. I mean, he's also gonna heal enemy. It's kind of annoying. He's like, WHERE'S MY COFFEE?! He'll, he'll never get no his coffee, coffee now. Rip coffee, man. You'll be missed. Oh no! Shine tomes! No! Wait, are there any other memes than forest memes? I thought forcing. I thought that's how they became memes in the first place. No. You sure? Sometimes things are like genuinely funny, and people just repeat them because they're funny. And that doesn't, that doesn't make them forced until like. They're dead, and then people try to revive them, and that makes them forced. Mm. That's how memes work. I studied this. You studied this memes? Phenomenon. Wow. Yes. The academy, I, the, the, a, the meme academy. There was, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Isn't that like a, an onion video or something? I, I think so, yeah. <laughs> I think it's an actual video, actually. I know that uh, America has like a hidden meme investigation section in the FBI or something. <laughs> like where they like literally like study memes and see like how, because they want to like understand how the young minds think or something so they have like an entire meme investigation all department. the young cool kids think yeah, yeah. It, it, like it would it doesn't sound completely out of the realm of possibilities that the fbi would actually have some sort of interest in memes on the internet i mean memes are really just cultural phenomenons they, they're not just images with text above and underneath them they are actually fascinating things yeah they are i mean uh, i mean when they're not being dank <laughs> but uh you know that memes have been around before the internet right yeah, for sure. People like used to during the Second World War. People used to draw pictures of this little guy. I don't remember if he was like Gilbert or Dilbert or something. But they have like this little guy that they drew everywhere, and then the soldiers from the opposing army actually started doing it as well. And and like he <laughs> popped up everywhere, and like on like every time the soldiers would walk through a city, they would draw him everywhere on the on the buildings, and and they would, they would just like spread. That's not quite a meme. That's more like. But it's similar. It's it's similar, but it's it's like a thing. Okay, okay, this guy is. Uh, I hope the hero takes out oh, that guy. That oh, funny. I think he will. I think he will. Because this guy has a bolting. He doesn't counter. He's like zero. Yes, and he's in a way. Oh, he's not in a way. Mm. Mm. But so, the monk is dead, so the, the, the hero has no choice. Mm. He, I think the bolting stage is his most enticing target right now. You know, I think it's kind of sad that these guys don't actually have the female battle animations. That's one thing to be sad about. No, I just think it's like why they have the female battle sprites, but they don't have the female animations because they're really cool. <laughs> yep. A 
plan works. <laughs> A, a Mangstrat works. Oh my god, a Mangstrat action, but can it can it truly be called a Mangstrat anymore? It's <laughs> uh, it's a question for another day. Uh, I could I can kill this guy. We have enemies around here. Uh, there's no enemies. Yeah. There's like a purge, so I have to do it with. You, you killed all the easy enemies, basically. I can I can so. go up here with fire. Now does this trigger any reinforcements? Oh uh, no, but it triggers the Valkyries. Like all the five of them move at once. Um, if you go in your area, right. and they have really long range with their spells or their yeah. Is, is it worth staffs. it to take out one sleep stuff? Just check the range. Check the range of the staffs. Uh, this guy. No the staffs. What do you mean the staffs? The Valkyrie staffs. Oh, the Valkyries have staffs. Just be twice. Yes. Oh. You, you set this in the fucking preview. Again, you you. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, so I will probably get berserked. If I do that, it's probably not a yes. good idea. So... I mean, if you go really far away, it might be safe. But they all move, all five of them move at once. Just to get the village, I guess. Yeah, I will, but uh, I think Fiora is the one with shopping the, the village, silver card. Yeah, I'm gonna go and get yeah. do some shopping. Oh, wait a minute. Please tell yeah. me I cleared out some of some inventory space. Oh, I did. I, I think you got, like, the stat boosts and that's it. Yeah. Probably should have got Yeah, more. someone with, like, four slots filled, because they could check the inventory without hurting you. Yeah, I think I can. Can I can I check with Hector? Yeah, you can check with Hector. I got, no, I, got, not, I, got not this way. I got 18 slots. Oh, you got 18. Yeah, 18. Yeah, that's that's enough. That's enough. Yeah. So what I should probably get is I should get. Um, I, I'm actually You're gonna I'm actually convoy. gonna check in the convoy what we need. So I know I know we need tomes. Oh no, I can't. You can't check without dumping things. Yeah. So I know we need tomes. So I think uh, at the very least we should get like two thunder tomes. Yeah. Two Thunder Tomes. Probably more than that, to be fair, because Priscilla uses Thunder and so does Pent. Uh, I guess. So, th three Thunder Tomes, that means we have 15 slots left. Um, I don't think we need any of the other Tomes. I mean... Nope. No, we're not gonna do it. One... Well, well, like, yeah, one of Elfire Tome I think is know, good. Uh, I would like Elfire, but whatever. And I think we need a Heal Staff. Yeah, I think so too. Like, two Heal Staves. And then we'll... Do you ever buy door keys? I forgot. Yeah, I got door keys, but I don't got chest keys. Okay. Alright, then we'll go visit the uh, village. Ah! It's one less you! Spot. Huh? Go. I saw nothing. I met with no one. Wait. Take the staff. Thank you for Prince Sephiel. Uh, that's okay. I didn't, like, make Sephiel, but okay. <laughs> All right, so we got the warp Thanks, staff. I guess. Um, I'm sure Mecca has some ideas for this one later down the line. Yes. So let's see. Uh, good, good thing. Right. So what good we item. what we gonna do right now? Right now, I think just get. Uh, do we trigger reinforcement zones if we go in here? No, you already triggered reinforcement zones for this zone long ago. Right. Uh, actually, you trigger area four if you go there. Is uh. Okay. Uh, the line is like right before the forts, and then it goes down, and then it goes left at the other forts. But is, the, is there a way for me to like avoid square. it, or should I just like, go on? No, it? no, you have to do it eventually. Okay. No matter what. Then I will just equip the brave sir, so that I can retaliate. Yeah, and the reinforcements will come from the back. Right, right, right. Okay, so we'll we'll just leave this guy alone for now. Although he'll probably go for Raven. We'll see. Um, let's kill this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Jafar, no. go assassinate the cute defenseless little healer. Can we have that fortify staff? That'd be awesome. I'd love that. That's the staff That'd that Renault cool. Renault what spawns you, with, isn't it? I thought it was like FE4 where you could steal by attacking. Oh, so it wouldn't waste turns. I fucking love that, because this guy only has staves. I might actually be able to kill him with Harkin. Um, uh, I have my doubts about this. Is he, he's on a fort, isn't he? Yes. Yes. Is Harkin even in range? Uh, if, he, if we dance for him, he might be. Or Luis might be, but if Luis might might not like what goes on over here. At all. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, longbow. I mean, Luis can probably get there, but can she survive? Like, she can survive, but like she doesn't counter, so what's the point? Yeah, yeah, good point. Uh, let's <laughs> berserk another guy. <laughs> nah, that's no point. You can berserk another guy. But I think if I move Harkin up here, he might be in range. I don't know. Could have checked, but that would have been. There right are ways to check hey, this look at before that. Coming, you know? Yeah, he's never. He's never gonna okay. be able to hit that. He has to hit. So. I mean, yeah. Why not, right? Uh, this guy's fast. So I guess not. That's uh, that's a good reason why not. 
Yeah, fine. I'll just put him here then. I wish I could place him on the fort. That'd be nice. But oh well. You don't want to give the uh, enemy hero the fort. That's a good point. Which he will take anyway. He'll just yeah. get on. I think. Whatever. So keep Hector back then. Yes. Unless you like taking extra turns, which I know you do. <laughs> I do oh, actually. No, you need to be further back, dude. Oh, even further. Yes. Don't you remember where they spawn? Yeah, like uh, down in the bottom right, right? Yeah. So I I prefer to keep. But the don't they move the same turn they spawn? There. No. They don't. This is not IP6. But uh, won't Hector die to all the other wyverns after he recruits Vita? He's Hector. You sure? In fact, he's your Hector. I think it'll be fine. You think so? They're all. They got pretty high stats. No, they don't. It's IP7. Right. Only Valkyries have good stats. Oh, right. <laughs> Shit. That's a lot of Valkyries. That's too far. Oh! Please not. Uh -oh. Don't. Oh, shit. That's not good. Yep. So far, that exit has stopped responding. So far, that exit. You're fucked. <laughs> Never mind, you're not fucked. This hero is a boss. Holy shit. Holy shit. Here they come again, those little Elysian nobles. I'd love to take them on, but Prince Sephiel insists it was they who saved him. Pa! What's this world coming to? Okay, awesome. That that hero literally just saved us, I think. All right, so enter Vida. Uh, Vida is recruitable. Talk to her with Hector. I I have this theory that she could be recruited by Heath, but I forgot to check it. We had a little bit of an argument. Uh, I, I think she might be. I'll, I'll post it on the video if it's true. So yeah, Vida, Vida, Vida. She's one of the last recruitable characters. There are three more after her. Uh, she is a Vivan Lord and really good one. Uh, like her bases are really good. 22 base defense, some of the highest base defense in the game. I think she might have the highest base defense in the game, if I remember. I think so, too. Yeah. Like, who else is gonna, who's gonna have a higher, right? No, uh, no, nope, nope. And, uh, yeah, she's a flyer, she hits hard, she has really good defense, her con is good, so she doesn't lose speed from lances. Even her base speed of 14 is, like, good enough to double most FE7 enemies. Not, not, not good enough to, like, double pre-promotes, but definitely good enough to double everyone else. Uh, just really good unit. I really, really like Vida a lot. Uh, she turns a little late, but aside from that, I give her a 4 out of 5 stars. She's kind of like Harkin, but on a mount. So, she's... I really like Vida. What do you have to say about Vida? I think Vida used to be really underrated, because people were like, she joins late and her stats are probably bad, but they didn't really look at her stats, because basically she's fe 7 r Her defense and strength are both really good, and her speed is passable. 14 is enough for fe 7 enemies, for sure. Uh, it doubles a lot of bosses, which is what makes her a great boss killer. Uh, I think she has B or A in both She has A rank in swords and lances. Her weapon ranks are really okay, good. good. So, yeah, good weapon ranks, which means she uh, she quadruples most bosses, and that makes her a good boss killer, uh, even in 0% growth, uh, for whoever cares about that. Uh, what else is there to say about her? Her con is pretty high, and then she's female, so she can't really carry many people. Yeah, <laughs> she eight, like eight, eight, eight. eight. <laughs> she can, like, annoying. carry an Indian. <laughs> yeah, basically, that's kind of annoying. Uh, it's kind of sexist that... Uh, Female flyers and mounts just don't get to carry much people, but that's all there's to it, really. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't think, I think she's very good overall in the grand scheme of things, just because she joins late. But if she joined earlier, she'd be really good. As it is, I, I'd say she's like a three-star unit this late joining. I think she's better than Harkin, actually. Because uh, Harkin joins just about as late, but he doesn't have a mount, so he's not that amazing. Still good. But Vida, she's just, Vida's basically mouse at Harkin, as she said. Yeah, there's one thing I want to say about Vida, and that's that uh, her, like, supposed weakness is that she has low res. But I kind of find that she's in the same boat as Hawkeye, in that she has so m much base hit points that if you just barrier her up, she can fight pretty much magic units, no problem. Just because of her insane hit point pool. So Yeah, and because uh, bows would be her auto weakness, but because she's 22 defense, she doesn't really care. Unless it's, like, a silver bow or, like, an iron blister. So, yeah, she's good. Yeah. Okay, so what we need to do now, we just need to place Hector, like, here. Mm -hmm. She'll fly over to him, he'll recruit him. Yeah, he'll be yeah. fine, you're right. Yeah, but they will fly over to your other units, so, like, it limits where Linian and Priscilla and shit are gonna go, but whatever, it's done now. Yeah, well... Can't be helped. We'll be fine. I think I think she'll place herself in range of Hector. Pretty sure she will. Remember, she moves further than her other guys. Oh, she, she will, but, like... Uh, I just don't like the other wyverns being around yeah. that close to me, but whatever. Okay, so we need to get Priscilla up here. Uh, I think there's really... I, as long as we kill this guy, I think Priscilla's gonna be fine. Uh, we can also kill this guy with Luis, I think. No, wait, we can't. 
He's a hero. Yeah. He's berserking. My... <laughs> oh, we can kill this guy, though. Yeah, you can kill him and then take the fork to kill the sniper. I think that might be a good yeah. idea, yeah. Yeah, I think that'll... trade away Louise's Brave Bow before she gets wrecked by that hero. Yeah. There we go. She's gonna take some damage back, but it's gonna be fine. There we go. Good job, Luis. Luis is not bad on this chapter because everyone else is gonna like not get, not counter very efficiently anyway, other than the heroes with hand axes. Yeah, I mean, the, what, Cog of Destiny is one of those weird chapters where having a unit like Luis, who does a decent amount of damage, is actually viable because in most other chapters there's just a lot of cannon fodder, so you just want one two range units. But in Cog of Destiny, yep. there are actually da actual dangerous units. So having like, yeah, as I said, having a high damage unit is valuable. So we'll do this, we'll trade away her bow, give her the iron bow, and a reset. Yeah, I wouldn't really call the Louise like high damage, but I'd call her like good, strong ranged weapon. Yeah, I mean, brave. She does more, she does more damage with a ranged weapon than most other people. That's true. All right, I think, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well maybe kill the hero then. Yeah, look at that. I mean, you know, as I said, like, Lightbrand can do decent damage, I mean, against, like, low... She did more damage than it would in Matthew 6. Yeah, so what we can do right now is we can dance for Javar and kill this guy. I think Harkin can probably go onto the fort and kill the sniper. We can trade away the Brave... Uh, yeah, I think this works, actually. No, wait, this won't be a kill. Let's not kill uh, Killer Axe. Raven can kill Ooh, Killer Axe. There's a very good chance he'll crit here. Can't Raven just do it with, like, Silver Sword or something? Uh, or Raven actually weaker now. Uh, he is, actually. Yeah, that guy's just... Brave sword? Yeah. Brave sword? Yeah, brave sword kills that him. That does it. Okay, that, that does, does it. it. So brave. So brave. Very brave. Crit. Safe uses. Come on. Come on. Fuck. He's gonna crit on the last one. He's gonna crit on the last one. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Doesn't care. Does not care at all. Alright, so... I think the sniper's like level 20 or something. It's ridiculous. Wow. Okay, so yeah, I'll dance for Jafar. Oh, we need to be careful. There's Valkyries about. <laughs> like really late into the turn. Oh, I think what I'll do is I think Jafar doubles this guy. Twenty-one speed. He does, but not with a killing edge. No, wait, he does. Mm -hmm. he, yeah, he doubles yeah, exactly. So we can dance for Jafar as long as we kill the hero. Like Ninian's not gonna die to monks. So as long as we kill this hero, which should be easy to do. Uh, I'm not gonna take that chance though. We'll just do... Steel. I was wondering what the fuck you were doing. Steel Sword. We'll do this. Um, you can even Sword Reaver if you want. Yeah. Probably a hundred hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. And then Jafar can take on one of the uh, one of the Valkyries. As long as he doesn't get... Uh, his persistence is really good. I don't think he gets two shot. Uh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. 14 damage from this guy. And then... Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll, he'll, he'll mm -hmm. even kill this guy. Mm -hmm. Come on, crit. Fuck. Would be up. See, this is the one chapter I think where Jafar is really good. Yep. There we go. So the other other Valkyrie will do 14 damage as well, most likely. The monks won't do oh, damage. The monks can combine for seven. Okay, good. I'll even put Merlinus here just because why not? It's just to rub it in that monks are bad. Yeah. So the Valkyries have already started moving. They're gonna be hitting us pretty hard. Uh, oh. Yeah, you're gonna get like three unit status tonight. Three more units weakened, but it's fine. I guess I can, maybe the hero will kill. I can one for you. I can maybe trick them into going for the Pegasus Knights. Possibly. Maybe split them up. That will help. Yeah. So we'll send you over here. Is that in range? Yes, that is in range. Like, they they got like half the map range too. Look at that. Type this one. Yeah. So we'll do this. So even if she gets like slept or berserk right here, she can't get attacked to her anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Besides, I want to do some shopping. Uh, and then I'll, I think I'll place, like, I'll place, uh, Fiora, like, here. Anyway, we gotta do some shopping. Um, I think, uh, one or two Silver Lances might be a good idea. Silver Bow for Luis. Yeah, like, one, I think. Silver Bow for Luis. It's not that much fighting left in the game, really. Silver Axe, Silver Lance. I mean, it doesn't matter, we can just sell them anyway, so. Do you still have your old Silver Axe? Uh, yeah, that's right. Okay, anyway. Then we'll do this. All right, and then just pick a god and pray, I guess. No, Vida, what are you doing? What me? No, Vida. Oh, okay, just just chilling. 
I should have traded away. Staying what? Out, staying out of Hector's range. Should have traded away. It's probably like trying to stay out of Hector's attack range, and in the process, he also stays out of his uh, um, his recruiting range. Yeah, I hope. I don't know. I don't know how Vida's AI works. I think the hero is going to kill one of the monks, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, nah. Vida. Hector can get on rivers, but I don't think he has no. enough move to get on that Vida river. No, nah, Hector cannot get on rivers. I'm pretty sure he can't. He can walk on rivers, dude. He can? Yeah. Huh. Chapter 13. You can do it a lot. Uh -oh. oh, shit. Uh -oh. That's uh -oh. bad. Well, I can fuck. That's bad. That's really bad. I can fuck. No, I, I was sad. <laughs> You know how it when you get interrupted mid sentence, you start saying something else, and then it's like I can. I was gonna say fuck off, and I was like I can fuck. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, what the? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. This is good. Thank you. This is good. Thank you for the free kill donation. Yeah, the way the enemy places themselves means that they have to go on that tile to attack ravens. So that's actually a bit of a stroke of good luck right there. I mm -hmm. think the other one what might do the new? same. Uh, the other one is closer. Yeah. True. So I think there's one of them have Berserk Staves, so I think Penn's in range for Priscilla, so Penn can restart. You already killed the Berserk one. Okay, what? Or rather the hero Arkan. did. Harkin. Rip Harkin. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, there's another Berserk one? Rip. Yup. Whoops. Whoops. It's okay, Penn's in range. <laughs> 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 I love this guy! This I hero is so guy. good. I love this guy. I love this guy so much. Okay, so now comes the big. Uh, okay, yeah, you're right. He, no, he can't. I am gonna use this strat in future runs of this chapter because it's so funny.